the session today time management and uh, what are we going to cover in the session how we can manage our time effortlessly when we learn to manage it we all have 24 hours when we learn to manage it in a better manner we can accomplish a lot at home and at work when i say at work doesn't necessarily mean that we are working in an organization or something whatever different types of things we manage besides the routine home chores is work it will help you to achieve goals and we will also look at the benefits of effective management how many of you here have more than 24 hours hello shubhangi we have shubhangi pirorkar not yet shubhangi is that uh, you who has joined from the second device ruchita can you just send the shubhangi pirorkar a chat message to log off and log in again maybe Yes, I will. Yeah. Hello, yes, Binda. Sorry, uh, you know yes. I don't. There's some problem with the net issues. No worries, no worries. Yes. Okay, so it's the same one. Thanks, Shubham, yes. for joining. Uh, nice to see you. I think you have some time today. To yes. Yeah. It, so, yeah. I saw your lecture and I said I should join. I've got time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Binda. So, uh, how many of you have? One hour or fifteen minutes more than twenty-four hours. Those of you who are comfortable can come on the video, and it's nice to see your faces. But um, if you don't have anything beyond that, then how is it that some people can achieve a lot more than what you and I want to achieve? We do come across some people who actually can achieve. so much more and we always struggle that we wanted to do something and we could not manage we, we did not manage to finish what we wanted to do so uh, dwight d eisenhower talks about what is important is seldom urgent and what is urgent is seldom important managing time they say is an art because it's an art as well as a science how we can manage the time this is a familiar uh, site we all have so much to do in our on our plate every morning when we get up either we already get up with a thought oh my god i have so many things to complete today and i wish i could do that there are th times we don't get sleep in the night because we were planning to complete something and we did not achieve what we had planned to do and then when we hit the bed we say one day more and again i have not done and there are times we want to do things but we tell ourselves not today we'll do it tomorrow we'll do it another time so all these things happen with all of us this is a beautiful chart uh, rocks pebbles and sand most of you is not new nothing new that i'm talking about uh, we all have to look at the rocks that we have on our plate or in our life when we look at our pebbles and we also look at the sand so go to hear from some of you you feel free to raise your hand and unmute and speak hi mona uh, how do you manage your time or do you do you feel um, restless or stressed or anxious because you are not able to complete something that you have does that happen to you often or it happens and uh, you are able to manage let's hear from somebody mm -hmm. uh, so a little late break before so i i manage well that's what i think mm -hmm. by uh, prioritizing making to do list like okay thinking over it previous day or little earlier ahead that these are the tasks and then maybe classifying mentally ki which is more important or you know like okay urgency depending on various situations personal professional or social life like okay yeah mm -hmm. um, and uh, this is too personal but i think uh, i was branded as i'm known to be workaholic so people mm -hmm. would say you're working for 16 hours 18 hours and don't get tired but i loved i mean i i don't know 
now with the age things have changed and less number of things and uh, mm-hmm. my daughter is again super achiever a lot of this thing but burns out like okay time management is one thing which she has to do and i feel very sorry like i mean uh, how much ever you try to in a sense ki it has to come from within probably you know right, right. we all we all have been there and done it and today we can talk that way right thank yeah, you so I'm much asha for sharing and um, i i want to hear from one more person if you want if anyone wants to share and we will move forward because uh, you know when people share we learn like she talked about to do list prioritizing making a mental note of planning her things and all that it's nice to hear from somebody else yes bina good morning good morning as you i have taken you this class earlier also but no improvement that uh, always there are so many things are uh, going on in mind and we go on doing multitasking people say that it is not good as you are aging now so don't do too much multitasking but all the time something something is coming in the mind and time management we do well as much as we can but nowadays i have uh, i've uh, decided that i'll not do uh, only that whatever is i have to do i will do whatever i like at a time do. one thing at a time very good thank you bina and i would like to correct don't say no improvement you must have seen me even if it's one percent improvement after attending the session you must have made certain changes in whatever you are doing in some way maybe it's not very prominent but it must have you must have made you changes that, that that's the reason we see you uh, in the classes and all that so i'm sure you're managing your time to make sure that you have to attend the class which you love to you're passionate about a topic your dance or your uh, any cooking class or something or even some of my classes so, yes. we are we are uh, uh, making our bar higher Oh, this must I can do. I should do more like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's also not bad. That's also not bad. So, um, thank you, Bina. Uh, so, uh, like both of them, you heard uh, both the ladies saying. Did you all hear? Even Teresa mentioned that um, now that we are getting older, it is not the same. And Bina also said that multitasking as we are getting older, it's uh, it may not be the same as we used to do earlier, and it should not be that we are rushing against the time. Yes, very well said. And. Um, the topic because it is co- being covered on the get better platform which is for the older adults i started saying 24 hours everybody has the same amount of hours number of hours but it's for us how to manage how to look at the things that we have to do or we want to do and set priority then there are those big rocks the pebbles and the sand so unless you decide unless you uh, identify which are the rocks and which are the pebbles and which are the sands it becomes very difficult to meet the requirement and uh, manage your uh, that is very very important so how do you identify the rocks like i feel how he talked already that seldom you know something which is important may not be urgent something which is urgent may not be important and we have to figure out are we spending the time on not important not urgent kind of work or maybe urgent but not important all those categories so he has made a matrix and uh, he, it's it's a beautiful matrix we it will help us to put things Uh, i uh, i think asha also when i when she said i could feel i mean she said she has been a workaholic and all and most of us who have been professionals we have juggled with our personal life with our family raising our children attending the, the meeting deadlines catching the train or catching you know all those kind of things we have done and that's only because we could uh, we were i won't say we could manage time but we were trying to manage ourselves with the available time sometimes we would get stressed out burned out and become stressed and most of the uh, main reason for getting stressed or anxiety is because you are not well organized time management 
is one of the major reason why you get stressed out also so people we had we advise when we are managing stress we are doing sessions on managing stress or coping with anxiety we do talk about time management because if you manage the time well maybe the, the implication is less so activities that matter most in our life and have the most profound con- consequences actually they are directly pertaining to you as an individual to me only i can do it only i have to handle it so that is something we keep putting it off most of the time probably because it's going to take a lot of time and i don't have that kind of time that could be one of the reason and you're parking it i shall do it tomorrow i shall do it tomorrow so you tend to procrastinate because you feel i don't have the 3 hours to spend on that okay i need to do this 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 it's such a big task so how to handle that we are going to talk about it then there are pebbles which are smaller tasks that are requirements of daily living or items we want to do but it can also be done by somebody else so we have to dis- decide whether okay i have to go and uh, order the grocery or i have to deposit something in the bank or i have to physically go to my seamstress my tailor and uh, collect the parcels from there so figure out whether you ne- you yourself have to go down drive down or go or you can check with one of your neighbors if you are going to towards that said can you pick it up for me or you can call that guy to say would you be able to deliver it to me because i am unable to come so we can look at these possibilities but invariably we don't even think that way because everything we want to do ourselves and that is where the time goes okay and sands are like those non essential things which are mostly the time wasters it could be uh, just a phone call which came to inquire about something that you have one of your building person or your neighbor or your friends called you and you were busy actually in the kitchen fixing a meal or you were in the middle of writing a mail or uh, probably painting uh, something or finishing or reading a book okay so the phone call comes it was an unplanned call and the call was only for asking some particular contact of a doctor or an old person old uh, friends uh, common friends um, contact details but we tend to go on talking talking because maybe that person also had some time and you feel i have more time and you just go on talking and that 3 uh, minute or 5 minute call extends up to 15 or 25 minute call and you both are feeling happy but what happened is something else got suffered something else got left out so this also is one of the uh, kind of example so you have to rationalize these kind of thing there are a lot of time wasters in our life when we are doing day to day work we have to figure out what are those the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but to schedule your priorities that is more important is what steven covey says so uh, how many of you feel that you do have these kind of time wasters during the day hello maya and rashmi hi archana hello ma'am good morning 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 so what are the kind of time wasters if if you people those who have not spoken if you want to share any time wasters that you uh, other than the kind of example that i gave you scrolling on the phone ah <laughs> yes i was about to say that see when it is, you know you have not planned to go and post something or maybe you have planned to post a picture uh, on the facebook and what happens is you just tend to go on looking at so many social media yes bina so you just go on and then you don't realize that you thought i'll do i'll just spend about 10 minutes and one hour you're just there you you're enjoying what you're doing but in the bargain something else has got missed out that could be one of the time waste but the same thing can be handled in a planned way if i know i have post a message on the linkedin now uh, yesterday somebody asked me showed me two of his posts and said did you read that so i said no because i am not in the habit of going there was a time where i used to every morning you know click on the link because it comes your notifications come 
So you just click and then you read some articles, but then you de designate about 30 minutes or 40 minutes for that morning time. Then it's okay. Then during the whole day, I may not look at it. Or maybe in next time when I'm looking at the meal, if I see something interesting, I might just spend about 10 minutes. But mentally, I will tell myself that, okay, 10 minutes and no more or half an hour and no more. Same thing. With the social media, the phone, my phone is not here handy, but the phones, uh, we look at a message which is, or we are just sitting, we pick up the phone and then we just go on scrolling like Ravina said. And there are forwards, we are members of so many groups and then we go on listening or reading to that and we get so engrossed that we lose the track of the thing. That could be my nature. Another kind of Getting engrossed in what you're doing is something like your um, hobby, your interest, your gardening, your painting and all. Now, that I would not call as time wasted, but you know how you can manage because those are de-stressing activity, but you have to attend to your plants. You have to do, finish that painting. You have to finish that dress that you're sewing for your maybe grandchild or something. But when you sit there or you, when you plan to do that, you tell yourself, okay, now I have finished my lunch at 2.15. I'm free now. Until 2.30, I can sit and finish that. In the morning, if you want to attend to your pots, your gardening, repotting or whatever, you're mentally telling yourself, okay, one hour I'm giving this. Day. Ten minutes here and there is okay. But that one hour, if it becomes two hours and you lose the track of the time, that is wrong time management. So we have to figure out what are the things we are working on. We, um, you know, we all have enough time. Okay. 168 hours per week, 34 hours in a day, 168 hours per week. That means 40 hours at work. Today, you and I are not working full time, but there are things we do. It's not uh, only the you know, cooking. Okay, if you're planning to sit um, in the classes, three or four classes a day, so that are four hours. Or um, if you're trying, trying to do your work in the garden, you're trying to do your work going to the uh, vegetable market and wet market and get your stock or going to the mall and that's also work okay so that seven hours at gym and we are talking about a week so one hour a day if you're spending for your personal fitness so whichever way you do you go for a walk or something seven on an average we are talking 56 hours of sleeping time you still have 65 hours left for yourself so Stop wasting time and start doing. Now, unless we figure out to-do list we talked about, we'll be talk covering that to-do list. Unless we write down what we have to do, we just keep uh, missing out on, uh, you know, the things we had had to. And as we are getting older, all the more reason that there are chances of us slipping up on certain things, somebody, maybe your son or daughter has said something on the phone to you, that uh, these are the things I want to do, or I'm coming after two days, can you pull out those papers, I need that to be submitted, those documents, and I say, yes, 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 I know where it is, and I clean forgot about it, and the two days later, when my son drops in, because he said, I'm in a rush, I just come down and give you a ring, and I'll come up and pick it up, and that's the time you re realize, oh, I haven't even looked for those papers, I did not pull it, uh, pull it out, and keep ready for them. So if you make a note that this is something I have to do, these are the people I need to call, this is something I, I re related to my investment I have to do, my payments I have to make, nice to write it down because then it stays, it's out of sight, out of mind. If you're not already into the practice, get into the practice and see how uh, you uh, are able to accomplish a lot more than what you are already doing. Because there are no shortcuts, okay? When you're listing it down, when you, you find the importance of time management, when you're listing it down and you're able to complete what you are wanting to complete, okay? And uh, let me just share this um, uh, four quadrants of uh, Eisenhower matrix that I was talking to you people. So these are the four quadrants. Something that is urgent, you, what you can do is make a quadrant like this, four parts, okay? So we have so many things. How, when we do this workshop with 
larger groups and in open we just tell them okay list out all the 20 things that you have in mind 20 could be 40 20 10, and because they will keep adding every hour there is something more getting added every second hour you will remember something it's nice to keep adding now out of that you can just on the right side you can mark urgent some of the things will be not urgent some of the things will be not important some of the, the things will be uh, not important and not urgent okay so urgent and important is this quadrant so when you have that list in front of you supposing you have 20 25 things listed and um, i need to uh, go and i i spoke to a tailor that i have wonderful silk fabric and he said yeah bring it on and i'll take a week's time and give it he told me about a week ago and he said lake out bring it tomorrow i haven't yet gone to him it's on my mind he told me one week's time he will get and give it to me so that is um not urgent uh it is not important also as of now but if i had planned to wear that outfit i wanted to wear that outfit maybe on the Thirtieth of May, and today we are already on the nineteenth of May. So yes, it would have uh, become urgent, and I would not important, but urgent and not important. I would have planned to find time to go and do it. So some things like that we always have on our plate to do. Be it we are all retired people, or most of us are uh, retired and not really having. much of commitments to do but still in our personal life also there are so many things we want to finish it as simple as cooking a meal okay now i for the last 5 8 days when when you are over the weekend when we are la- relaxed at home we are not rushing right but for the weekend if you are having you have invited guests and they are going to come what do you do you have and it the previous evening what are the meat, what are the things that i'm going to make dishes i'm going to make the ingredients and the raw material has already been stocked up the previous day or pre- by previous evening uh, in the night whatever pre preparation you have to do you have done for certain things in the morning you would have planned at first two hours in the morning these are the chopping cutting and things i will do so you are already planning because you are managing time that may not be a regular affair when you are doing your daily cooking but it's a special thing when you have invited people you do that kind of planning so in your list when you do you can write see something which is a crisis like urgent and important it will come there very very Missing problems, something that you are going to miss out on um, some investments. If you have not signed that form and called your uh, financial planner to take away that form, he has sent it to you on the email, but you have missed out on printing it and signing it and sending it back. That could be urgent and important because you would miss on the deadlines or something. So those will come in the urgent and important. not a uh, uh, important but not urgent is very very uh, it's a most important i would say okay the, the, it's the most uh, focused area not the most so it is important but not urgent what are the things there relationship building keeping in touch with your near and dear ones or your friend who you haven't you've been remembering that friend thinking about that friend but you haven't talked for months together that is here you need to pick up the phone and so you can list it down that okay i have to call so and so in the next few days or day or three days back later finding new opportunity it may not be urgent but it is important some of us are in the sap programs who are starting their businesses uh, who have who are cohorts who have been um Picked up to uh, by get set up team, but there are so many of you who are all also into that phase where you are doing some of your own business or you are getting opportunities because we are bringing in um, uh, speakers here. Very soon next week we are going to have somebody mother and daughter duo who are uh, going to talk about hydroponics kitchen garden, how to have your uh, kitchen garden hydroponics. 
So she's going to talk. So maybe after the session, you might find it's a new opportunity. It may not be urgent, but it is important to, for you to attend that program, understand and start working on how can I get those things done or how can I work towards long-term planning, preventive Activities. It could be something to related to your own health or related to your work. And you need to do something which is a preventive activity. It may not be urgent, but it is important that you start um, looking out for a um, yoga class or a fitness center or looking out for some classes on this platform because your doctor said, look, you need to do something because your BP has started shooting up, your your um, other problems can get aggravated or your knee problem is becoming worse. So you need to do so and so things. So uh, you, it is important for you and you will start looking at things. So those kind of things will be heard. Urgent and not important. Interruptions, emails, calls, meetings, popular activities, proximate pressing matters, interruptions. I mean, we talked about the time wasters. These could be the time wasters. Also, that there are a lot of interruptions when you're doing something. We are not really always in a state where we we'll say, okay, you know what? I call you back after five minutes because I'm in the middle of something. It's a nice habit to be formed. It's okay. The other person will understand because when the other person has called you, he or she doesn't really know how, uh, where are you? Are you with somebody? Are you talking or are you sitting in a get set up class? You don't know that. The person doesn't know. So these could be the interruption. Emails and calls and meetings also, supposing you're browsing, we talked about the social media, but even your emails also, when you're going through the emails, sometimes it's nice to set up some time, maybe, okay, 10 o'clock in the morning, if you're opening your email, you are looking at browsing at your email, respond and all that. Make a note of what you have to do, what action you have to do, or maybe again once in the evening. But every now and then, if you're going to open your email box, that can become... Uh, because it's not, uh, it's urgent, not important. You have to look at which category, quadrant, which quadrant it is for. And the last one, quadrant four, is about time wasters, some calls and emails, pleasant activities. You have to dis you have to do them also. But how much time and in what kind of time frame you want to fix those kind of things? for you to decide and you will not be able to do uh, do justice unless you list them down and put them in the right quadrant uh, quadrant one which is urgent and important quadrant two which is not urgent but important quadrant three which is urgent and not important and quadrant four which is not urgent and not important so the people who are focusing on quadrant one they are reactive worker oh i just remember i have to do this and i did it okay i just you know those are you know your reactive. effective worker is in quadrant two which who know that okay these are important things i need to handle and i start working on that may not be urgent today but yes they are important so you make a list of those things and just keep putting there and you start attending to that so your focus those are your Rocks also, I can call it, okay? Your crisis and your quadrant one and two are your rocks. Quadrant three are your hills. And quadrant four is all the sand. So people who are, have casual approach to their, whatever they are doing are, in, I mean, they could that work, not people, the kind of work that you are uh, going to have in quadrant three and four could be in the form of the casual work. So any questions so far on this, um, uh, the matrix that I share? Hello, Jaya. Hello, ma'am. So uh, does it does it make sense? Does it sound okay? I think whatever I'm talking may not be new. Definitely is not new to all of you. Somewhere or the other, you all must have heard, seen this quadrant, and you all know it all. It's just that somebody has to tell us and uh, now we are talking thanks thanks asha now we are talking or rather i am talking but i also am there in some of the things like it's not that just because i'm making this presentation and i'm uh, 
am not at the state where I can say, okay, I am a great time manager, you know, at time managing. No, there's a lot that, because things just crop up from nowhere and you have to then fit yourself, your timetable into it. Some things do come up and you have to fit your timetable in it. And uh, so let's, if there are no questions, uh, let us look at how to master the time management techniques. Some techniques we will share and uh, this might help you to work towards better managing your time. It is time management, goal setting, planning, all these things are go hand in hand. So as simple as coming to this class at 10 o'clock, some of you had registered and you knew that you got a reminder in your mail or in your um, WhatsApp uh, phone. And you managed, you planned your time to be here. And we start at 10 o'clock and people are doing. Some, some of you may not have registered earlier, but you were just browsing through the site and you saw a topic, you found it interesting and you came in. So because you had that time, so your way of time management was different. So when you have to do something today, now if I may ask, of course, uh, bar, barring um, uh, this, uh, everyone else is in the uh, mid of the day. So we have the whole day ahead of us and we know what we have to do uh, in the next two hours or five hours or six hours. So there is something waiting for you. There is a goal that you have to achieve. It could be uh, a meeting. 1.30 on a particular topic and you have to prepare for that meeting because you want to be there at the 1.30 meeting. So you have set that goal and you have prepared yourself. It could be goal setting. Uh, even if I said uh, talked about Teresa that okay, it's tonight for her but maybe there is something waiting for her tomorrow and she already has um, something on her mind that she has to go for a walk or she has to take um, her friend a particular uh, mall to show some something which they talked about so that also could be goal your goals can be very very small to big goals are like immediate intermediate uh, short term and long term so you need to write down so time management helps us um, goal setting helps us to manage our time and time management helps us to meet and achieve our goals Prioritizing is very important. Now, when you list down, so if you people shared the quadrants, the four quadrants, so if you find it very technical or not very uh, convenient to use, what we could do is just list out what all things are on your mind, whatever is in your mind. I have this habit of first thing in the morning, uh, rather I, before going to bed, mental note is there, okay, this, this, this has to be done tomorrow. And I always have on my dining table, there's a little do list. I have a writing pad there and it gets added there or deleted or, you know, if something new comes. It goes so I know because that's the place where I often go. When I'm done from here, I just get up and go sit there. Or, so that's all the time uh, in, in front of me. So it keeps reminding me that, okay, this is not yet done. You have to make a call to this and you have to do this. So then you make a list. On that list, you will be able to prioritize. So listing, then prioritizing. So when you're making the list, you must have written 25 items. But on the left-hand side, you're giving a serial number 25 and you have a list of items. But when you're running through that, you will discover that, oh, I need to, do, I've been forgetting this for the last so many days and I must do it today before noon. So that becomes your priority. So you put number one there, number two there, number four there. So prioritizing the list that you have prepared definitely will help you achieve more because there could be some rocks there, some of the major job that you had to do, which could take two hours or three hours. So when you say, oh, no, 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 everything I must leave aside and I must find those documents which my son is going to pick up, I might go to the cupboard, open up all those files and look for those papers it might take half an hour or 40 minutes. But yeah, finish that job because that was a priority. So this, when you make a listing and prioritizing, it helps you 
uh, achieve a lot more. The third thing is delegating. When you are list, we have listed and you have prioritized. We talked about delegating. See if somebody else can do that. If you, it's related to investment. It is related to picking up something from somewhere. It is related to making, ordering something online. If you think you can't do it, you can delegate it to somebody. So listing, prioritizing, delegating. Then you do reviewing. I made the list in the morning. Nothing stops you from looking at that list again, all over again in the evening or once again tomorrow morning because that you will be shuffling the your priority, which was today. The third priority or seventh priority could have already been achieved by somebody else or for, or for some reason it has just gone out of your list. So nice to review that list again. Something will get added, something will get deleted. And then the fifth thing is that you can rehash that list again. After you review, naturally, your list will become again. The priorities might change. So listing, prioritizing, delegating, reviewing, and then re rewriting or rehashing it, or whichever way you put it. These are the five things you can also practice if you're not doing the quadrant you can do this as a second self-awareness uh, Bina said something like as we are getting old we should not do multitasking and all this so it is very important to know who you are what state you are in what is your physical and mental uh, status right now you have to be aware I cannot be expecting myself to do the same kind of thing that I was doing 30 years ago when I was working, I was a professional and my children were growing, I was running a home and everything. The same kind of output today, no. So I have to be aware, of yes, and accept that, okay, my, my movements, my energy levels are less, my movements are become less, low, slow, so that's fine. So don't set your targets very, very ambitiously so that you are stretching yourself. You have to motivate yourself from time to time because you have, if you have done something, it's an achievement to tell yourself, yes, I managed to do it. That is important. Focus one thing at a time. Be multi, there is nothing called multitasking because when you are trying to move your mind and thought from one place to another, one job or activity to another activity, there is a whole cycle that takes place and it takes a lot of time for you to remove the focus from one thing, focus on the second thing, work there and then bring it out from there and again go back to it. Sometimes we feel I can do this, that and the other at the same time, but no, try and get into the habit of focusing on one thing at a time, finish that and do the next thing afterwards. 